in a world similar to our own, a king and queen and their daughter, Princess Diotima, lived in their principality, Occupatria. Occupatria was a realm like many others, busy, occupied. Its university was very old and prestigious. There, Princess Teotima studied politics and philosophy and enjoyed vigorous debate, particularly with the oldest and most distinguished of professors. Teotima's on-again, off-again boyfriend runs a business selling medical plants to the student body, most teachers, and all artists. No one knows the details of what happened or why, but one evening after taking a bath, the Princess Diotima turned into a sphinx. <gasps> what the fuck? What's going on? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? Why is this happening? What the fuck? What the fuck? With the body of a giant tiger, her own torso, and sometimes wings, the princess charged out of the bathroom into the palace hall and found she could only speak in questions. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Diotima's terrified parents, the king and queen, banished the Sphinx from Occupatria. So the Sphinx came to the edge of the realm at the gates on the threshold between <laughs> why? 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 What's that? The Sphinx got an idea. A traveler approached. Why did this happen? I don't know. The Sphinx destroyed him and instinctively devoured his heart. Thus, the riddle of the Sphinx was born. If anyone can answer me with truth, surely I'll be free from this curse. But no one could, until the arrival of the centaur. Who are you? I am the centaur. And what is your truth? My heart is a lonely hunter. <gasps> yes! That's it. But why? Pardon me? Why haven't I turned back into a princess? Oh. I know why it didn't work. Why? Because I am not a human. I am a wee monster, just like you. The two decide to seek a cure hidden in the realm university. Thus, the gates to Occupatria were left once more unguarded. And that's when we monsters invaded Occupatria.